Steloid process is seen at the base of dash metacarpal. Third metacarpal. So you are seeing this, this third metacarpal has a facet for the articulation with the second metacarpal and also for capitate down below and on the medial side with the fourth metacarpal and you also have to appreciate this thing that this has a steloid process the steloid process is present at the base of the third metacarpal on its dorsal surface directed laterally so with this overgrowth you know which is articulating down below with the capitate bone mainly it presses upon to this sometimes when this overgrowth of the steloid process and that is called metacarpal boss or metacarpal bossing this metacarpal bossing can be seen like this on the dorsum of the hand just above to the wrist this can be confused with the pseudo ganglion present at the wrist that you know is from this posterior interosseous nerve of back of forearm running below in the fourth compartment of the extensor retinaculum this one is a bony bossing because of this downward projection of the third metacarpal which is overgrown sometimes and along with the carpal bossing together it might form a ganglion or a cyst or a protuberance onto the dorsum of the wrist this can be painful also sometimes this is commonly seen in tennis players or all the sport activities where you use a racket like table tennis, golfers, right? It may be painful or it may not be painful and it's equally present both in male and female. It may be unilateral or bilaterally present. If it's painful, the pain will be aggravated by the flexion and extension at the wrist. The diagnosis can be confirmed by an x-ray and uh, treatment includes like uh, painkillers, wristbands, especially while playing or if the pain aggravates, the movement of the wrists can be restricted by the use of the splint or if it's really painful and it's hurting for a long time then it can be sliced out also. So the answer here will be that steloid process is seen at the base of third metacarpal.